Hi friends, welcome to Azure content. This is part 19 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to write to multiple files using max rows per file option in copy activity of ADF pipeline. So let's see more in details. So whenever our requirement is to copy data to a file data store such as ADLS that is Azure Data Lake Storage or a Blob Storage having delimited text file format there we have an option called max rows per file. So by the name of this option itself we can easily understand that it gives us the option to declare the maximum number of rows that you want in each of the files in the sync data store. Okay. So suppose in the source you have 50 number of rows either in table or in file. Okay. So your source is having 50 rows. So in the sync, if you declare maximum row per file as 10. So after the copy activity has finished its execution, you will see that these 50 rows from source has been converted or has been copied into five different files having 10 rows in each of the files. Okay. So 10, 10, file, 10, 10 rows will be copied in each of the files because we have set maximum rows per file as 10. So it will distribute this 50 rows into 5 files. Okay. Suppose the number of rows in the source instead of 50, it would be 52. And suppose we have specified maximum rows per file as 10 itself. Then in addition to these 5 files, there will be another file having only 2 rows. Okay because 10 is specified as the maximum rows per file so it will have 10 rows in each of the files till this point that is till 50th row but after that it is left with two more rows which will go into another file okay so i hope it is clear what this maximum rows per file does so basically when writing data into a folder you can choose to write to multiple files and specify the maximum rows per file okay so one of the important point to note here is uh, in the sync data set you cannot point the uh, data set to a file level you have to point it to the folder level so we will see everything in practical so let me go to the adf uh, portal and here let me start creating a pipeline so with this pipeline, what we are going to achieve is let me go to ADLS and here I have a container called ABC container wherein I have a file. Yeah, I have this file called iplplayers.csv and if I show you the content of this file, it has lots of players names and details. Okay, so if I scroll down, you can see there are in total 120 rows. Okay excluding header we have 120 rows so in total we have 121 so now i'm going to take this as the input file in our copy activity and i'm going to create a new container called abc output container and in that container we are going to split the uh, data of this file into several different files okay so let me go ahead and here let me uh, drag and drop this copy activity into the pipeline canvas and here in the source let me create a data set pointing to ADLS Gen 2 and the format is CSV for the input file. So let me uh, navigate to ABC container and let me select this IPL player.csv. So I'm going to skip this import schema option. So let me select none and let me click on OK. And similarly in sync, let me create a data set pointing to ADLS Gen 2. And we have to create the folder that is ABC output folder. Okay, ABC output container. So I'm just going to name it as it is. And I'm not going to select any file. And here in the sync settings, you can see we have this option called max rows per file. Okay, so here we need to specify the maximum number of rows per file. Okay, so in our source, we have 120 number of rows. Okay. And in sync, suppose I will be declaring maximum number of rows as 10, then we will be expecting that in total it will create 12 number of files, okay, which will have each files having 10 rows as its content, okay. So let's move ahead and let's try to do the same. So here I am going to declare 10 as the maximum number of rows per file, and we will come to this option later. And now we are good to debug the pipeline but here one thing to notice is this file extension which will basically decide the output file name extension okay so by default it is having .txt 
so if you need to change it you can directly give dot csv or any other extension i am going to give it as dot csv so suppose if your uh, sync data set would have some file name okay so suppose i have some file name as uh, abc dot parquet okay so uh, in that case the question is will adf be taking this file name or this extension as the output file extension or will it give preference to this one okay so in that case the preference will be given to the extension used in the file name not in this file extension option okay so right now i have given the file name but if i hit on debug it will give error so it says max rows per file and sync data set file name cannot be specified together so as i told when we are using this max rows per file we cannot give file name as the option because it should be at the folder level or container level because it is going to divide the source file into multiple files so we cannot point it to a single file okay so we have to point it to the container level or folder level so now we are set let me hit on debug and let's wait for the pipeline execution to be completed and then we will see if it is able to create the abc output container and will it have 12 number of files or not which will be having 10 rows in each of the files so let's wait yeah so copy activity has been finished let's check this binocular option where we have all the details so you can see file read is 1 and files written is 13 okay so we will see the content of this let me go back into etls account and let me hit on refresh and let's check the output so let me scroll down okay so starting from 0 we have uh, till 0012 as the prefix name of the file okay which means uh, it has 12 plus 1 number of files that is 13 files so why it is giving 13 files is because uh, as we discussed excluding the header we had 120 number of rows let me open the uh, input container as well let me duplicate the tab yeah so here i have this input file open so here you can see we have this column name and then we have 120 number of rows okay which means in total we have 121 number of rows if we include this as the record okay so let me go back and here if we check the content of first file so it has given this column name or the header and then we have nine other rows okay which means in total we have 10 rows including this column header and similarly if we go to the next file it will have the record starting from 10 till 19 which means 10 records here okay so if we go to the last file we will be expecting that it will have only one row because it will be left with the last row so let's check the content so you can see it has the last row which is the 120th record okay so we are good now the next thing to talk about is this file name prefix option where we can specify the file name in this format that is the file name prefix followed by underscore and the number dot file extension okay so if we do not specify the extension will be auto generated and the most important thing to notice is this is not applicable when the source is file based store okay or the source has partition option enabled okay so in our case the source is file store that is uh, adls so uh, let's see if it works if i try to give this file name prefix as suppose indian ipl players underscore 2023 dot csv okay and let's try to debug the pipeline so it says file name prefix is supported only when the source is tabular or hierarchical type data set and with no partition option enabled okay so let me change this source to a sql table so in my sql server as well we have some table which is holding player data so the table name is indian players so let me point to that yeah so it's already pointed to that table okay and this table has 21 number of records and we have given the maximum rows per file as and we are expecting the name uh, of the file will be in this format okay so here in the abc output container we have the 
files from the previous run okay so let me try to create another container for this run uh, let me give the name as abc output container one okay and let's try to debug the pipeline so this time you can see the pipeline has started its execution but in the case when the source was delimited text itself it was throwing an error saying that file name prefix is not supported when source is file data store okay so this time we have given table as the source okay so the copy activity is finished let's go to the uh, container and let's hit on refresh and let's check the abc output container one so in total we had uh, 21 records so uh, since max rows per file is uh, 10 so it should be giving us three files so here you can see three files are there and the naming convention is as it is as we have given in the pipeline so you can see indian ipl players underscore 2023 uh, then it is giving the uh, values or the numbering to the files okay and the file extension is dot csv okay so let's check the content as well so it is similar to what we have in the table okay so you can see the file name uh, prefix option is working when the source is a table okay so basically you can use these options when you have to copy from a single file into multiple files. only two things you need to keep in mind is the sync data set should be pointing to folder level or container level and it should not be pointing to file level okay and this file name prefix option doesn't work if the source is a uh, file data store okay apart from that if there is any data store it will be able to follow this file name prefix okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you